Hello, my name is Bob Parker, and I have the privilege of being the mayor of the city of Christchurch, which is in the beautiful southern island, the South Island of the South Pacific nation of New Zealand. Just like anywhere else in the world right now, the number one challenge that's in front of us has to do with energy. Energy security of supply, the levels of consumption, its impact, its costs. How does it affect our environment? How does it affect our communities? And of course, what impact does this have on our economy? So I'm really proud today to be part of this historic occasion in Brussels. Uh, I'm not able to be there in person. I'd love to be there in person. But at least we are able, in a way, to contribute via the, uh, the video medium. And I want to tell you a little bit about uh, my city. We're, we're certainly not the largest city in New Zealand. On paper, we are the second uh, largest city. The, uh, I guess the greater Christchurch area has a population of around about half a million people. So we're the, the biggest city in our island. And uh, we are a leader in this country when it comes to the area of uh, energy sustainability. Just to uh, give you a few facts and figures about our city and about our organization in Christchurch and what we've achieved, we've reduced our energy consumption in excess of uh, 33%, something we're very proud of. We've also been able to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by around about 50% in our city. And we've uh, got 90% of our energy now for our organization coming from renewable sources. We're either uh, using uh, waste gas or harvesting gases from old landfills or even using wind generation. So we're proud of the fact that we are leaders. And it has uh, great advantages for our city, our citizens. Uh, feel really good about this uh, in a world in which being clean and green really means uh, survival and, and particularly for a, a country like ours so far away from so much of what is happening in the world to have a clean green image not only makes sense for the environment and for the economy it also makes great sense for industries like tourism which are very important to New Zealand. We've uh, saved a great deal of money in our organization through our focus on energy use and energy efficiency. And it's become um, so popular in Christchurch that recently, in association with our citizens, we uh, struck a sustainable energy strategy, a plan for the next 10 years for our city to make us even more sustainable and, I hope, even more economically successful around the usage and supply of energy. So we are um, on track to reduce the energy consumption of our city by uh, around about 20%. And we want to increase the amount of electricity used in our cities uh, from renewable sources by around about 20%. That'll put us in a, in a very comfortable situation in the short term of 25% of all energy for the city coming from renewable sources. That's 90% for the city council, but across the city, 25%. So we are leaders and we're exporting our knowledge to uh, our communities. I'm also very proud to be here today because I think we're the only non-European uh, member of the Energy Cities Association. And uh, we feel very strongly associated with you because of the leadership position that we are taking and because of the leadership position that you intend taking as well. It's pretty clear that around the world, cities are the major consumers of energy. And this is a global issue, and therefore it's something that cities ourselves have to address. We are focused on this, and we're determined to uh, make improvements for the better in New Zealand. So when Mr. Um, Eckhart Versner, the uh, president of the uh, Energy Cities, invited us to sign up to the Covenant of Mayors, I'm proud to be able to tell you my city council unanimously supported this idea. Unfortunately, Unlike you, we cannot access um, the European funding. So we've come up with a more innovative way. With the projects that we've been running in our city, we've been able to actually earn carbon credits. These are judged and awarded by our government. We've then been, been able to uh, sell these carbon credits into the European market and earn euros from their sale. We're now ploughing that money back into a raft of projects in our city to move us towards more energy efficiency. And the beautiful thing 
of course, about energy efficiency. And while we're able, I think, to sell it in so well to our community is that not only does it make great environmental and social sense, it actually makes great economic sense. We win every time when we come down to the bottom line, saving energy, being more efficient, saves dollars as well. So we've got an alternative method for accessing your European funds. Uh, thank you very much indeed for that. And uh, thank you also again for the invitation to be part of this wonderful uh, covenant of mayors. If anyone out there is still wondering whether or not to get involved in it, we would say definitely get involved. It's great for the globe, but it's great for your local community to know that they also are at the cutting edge of uh, making a difference in the world. And should any of you ever have the chance to travel to the South Pacific, you'd be very welcome uh, to come and visit us at our city council chambers in Christchurch. You'll see that the reality of a clean, green New Zealand is even better uh, when you see it for real, not just read about it or see it on some video. We look forward to uh, you being successful and you joining us here in Christchurch sometime in the future. Thank you. <laughs>